morning and welcome to another Friday night and another hotel room tour. Tonight I am at the Dakota Eurocentral. I am just outside of Glasgow and yeah, let's get stuck into it. So I think you all know where I'm going to start if you've been watching my videos. If you haven't been watching my videos, where have you been? Um, uh, I'm only kidding, so I am Ian, aka MacBlogs, M-A-C-B-L-O-G-S. All the good stuff, the social media uh, information is in the description box if you wish to subscribe to me. Click that subscribe button. And yeah, let's go have a look, well let's have a look at this room that I'm in just now. This is a double room. Uh, it's a Friday night like I mentioned and I am paying £86. So I am going to start at the front door. So let's turn the camera around, let's have a look. So, always check the fire plan, escape routes, make sure you know where you're going. Front door has a thumb turn, and this lovely sign for your door. Make me up, I'm relaxing. And this key was already in for me when I came in, but keep that in for your power, likes, etc. Uh, to be on. And then coming into the room, first impressions for me is nice and modern, nice and fancy, pretty fancy. Uh, this is a four star hotel, as far as I know. Apologies for the lighting, the lighting is. Not great, it's a bit dim for use of camera, it's really nice in person, pardon me, I get hiccups. <clears throat> but it's a really nice room, I like the way it's been decorated, furnished. So we'll start just to the left hand side of a double bed, a nice mirror here. Just hiding behind basically the headboard of the bed, you have some hanging uh, wheels. So, plenty of space to hang some stuff, put something at the bottom there. At this side of the bed, there is a dimmer switch for the lights, the main light. Turn the main light off or oh. This light off, shall I say? So that switches for that light, obviously. And yeah, that was it. Yeah, USB points, so that's great to have all of them. Complimentary water, I'm guessing that's complimentary. I hope it is, because I'll be having that. <laughs> Probably get charged at the end, but yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's free. The phone to get reception. Bed, like I mentioned, with this huge pillow. I don't think I'll be using that, but it looks comfy. Um, American flag, they must know that I like to go to America. Must be a hint or a clue. Um, this drawer sticking out, they've left this open just to show us where the towels are. This is a valet service, so you pop it in the bag and they'll do all the valet. Things that you need done, if it's clothing, etc. Well, I think it is. Let's have a look. Yeah, so you have a suit, two piece, some prices there, shirts, trousers, and an axe. So, yeah, there's some prices. It's pretty useful. Let's put that back in there just now. So towels there in that drawer. Other side of the bed. Still water this time. Switch for the light. Remote control for the TV. So a decent TV. Nice and modern. This side of the the bed and behind the bed again. There's a little ducket here, a little shelf to put some things. In here we have proper mugs, some 
coffees, milks, so it was a kettle, complimentary shortbread. That looks nice. If it focuses. Come on. There we go. That's nice. Some more hanging space. Ironing board in here. Iron. And I don't see a hair dryer just yet. Not a major issue for me. But if I see one, is it hiding in there? No. Ugh. We'll keep looking, see what we can find. So, nice, comfortable couch. I've already sat on that couch. It's nice and comfortable. Some nice decor. Another light lamp here. Nice big mirror. And the view is not great. The view is just either the back or the back courtyard of the Dakota. So nothing really magical to see. It is only really next to a motorway and a business park to be fair. So it's not a lot here to walk to or to do. You're pretty much stuck here remotely. We need to drive to go somewhere. Um, again, nice chair. Haven't sat in that one. Looks comfy. Uh, drawers. Oh, nice. I think there were fake drawers there, but actual proper drawers. Leather cover uh, desk. There's a hair dryer there. See? The hair dryer's in the drawer. Just remember to look at that. And there, I don't know what that is. But, yeah, here we go. Got a bin here. We've got double socket, a normal double socket here. Don't know if there's any other power behind the desk here. We've got this double socket just here. And that's it for this side. So no sockets or power. I can't see. On that side of the bed, obviously they've seen the USB points on that side, that's fine. Oh, got if I missed that one there. So double socket on the skirting below, and that socket we mentioned. And, yeah, and that. Nice spotlights for lights. Yeah, I don't think I've missed anything. There's no space underneath the beds, like I like to mention, for storage, sometimes you get that good storage, but to be fair, it's a nice open room. I would say there's plenty of places to chuck some bags out of the way. But, uh, I like the decor. I like the use of the mirror over there, the colour scheme, the panels. You see the brick detail here, it's been painted as well. Brick there as well. No, I like it. Really nice. Really modern. Uh, did, I don't think I might not walk right past it. So you can get your air conditioning and heating on here. And you can hear it. Is it coming from here? No, actually not. It's coming from here, obviously. Aye. It's me being daft again. So, the bathroom, it says heater here. So there's a heated towel rail. Nice door, to be fair. It's a nice door for the bathroom. So again, very well decorated, lovely tiles, so you've got toilet, heated towel rail, towels, two toilet rolls, and as you come over to here, sink, uh, yeah, 
and almost sink it. Push plug, shaver sockets, mirror, and then you've got your complimentary shampoos, soaps, soap, shower gel, and you've got the glasses here. Nice big mirror, pretty much floor to ceiling, apart from that small section there, but yeah, you've got me. Hi me, little hand tool here with the bin below it, and then chill. So, not a massive step in, a little, step, little trip hazard potentially, but that's nice and low. You've got the overhead shower, handheld shower with a head, looks of it. Self expansion, little corner basket here to put your stuff in, and a grab room. So, looks like a nice shower. I'll go stop, stopping from the screen hitting the tiles. You've got a little coat hook here, hanger, and your towel on, or rope, or whatever you wish, and then thumb turn here to lock the door. What else have we got in the bathroom? The tissues, Mr. Mr. Tissues. But, yeah, it's got everything you need. Well decorated, clean. Yeah, definitely no issues in here. Fantastic. A little peephole there. Can we see anyone through the peephole? No. What do you what do you call it? What do you call that? Let, leave, let me know, leave a comment uh, below. Do you call this a peephole or do you call this like a viewfinder? Or I'm just interested to know what everyone calls um, this. But that's really it. This is all there is. I'm going to try and record uh, some of the entrance, some of the outside the entrance uh, as well. I uh, yeah, I think there's anything else to report guys, so hopefully that has helped in your decision or your research in booking a hotel in this area. So it's, this hotel is local to a lot of things, you've got Airdrie, Cold Bridge, um, Bells Hill, Addingston, these kind of places and then you've got maybe, depending on traffic, between I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour, sometimes quicker than that, to Edinburgh. And then you've got, uh, say, let's say 45 minutes again or so to Glasgow. Don't quote me on that. Use Google Maps, use the, use the experts uh, to do that, but that's just a vague idea. So, lovely hotel, in my opinion, so far. I haven't stayed over it yet. Um, everything looks really comfy. Bed, pillows. <sighs> yeah. So far, great impression. The reception looks really nice. Uh, that looks well decorated. Obviously very high standards here. So rather than ending the video, I am going to order room service. Just to add something a little bit different um, to the videos. And I have ordered fish and chips and a bottle of water. So yeah, uh, I scanned the menu briefly, so I'll put that in just now. And I have been given the menu. Um, I think there's a surcharge, I think they said £5 surcharge. Um, I don't know if that was correct or not, but I couldn't really hear because of the mask. But I'm hungry, <laughs> so I'll pay it. Um, I'll just need to go with the flow. But yeah, I'll put that in once that comes along. And uh, yeah, that'll be that'll be good. And I'll let you know how it is.
room service has arrived. Let's have a look. So, this is the obviously the fish and chips. Fish, chips, tartar sauce. I think. Yep, salt, pepper. This is actually water, so I've got a big sparkling water. So, yep. Pretty quick, to be fair. I think I waited like half an hour. So, 30 minute wait. Um, fantastic. They delivered to your door. You lift the tray, lift it into your room. Like you just probably seen in the video. So, anyway, I'm going to go enjoy this and maybe speak to you again before I finish. Or I'll probably do an outro just letting you know about the food um, as well. But, yeah. I'm just going to go enjoy this. Oh, well, I destroyed that fish supper. It was amazing, fantastic. I couldn't even finish it. Um, yeah, so recommend that, definitely. And it wasn't tartar sauce. I don't know why I said that, to be honest with you. You probably thought, what is he talking about? He doesn't know what he's talking about. Um, it was mushy peas, of course. So, but yeah, I uh, thoroughly enjoyed that. It's floored me, so I'm tired now, obviously. Hence why I'm lying on this bed. Pillows are comfy. Everything just nice and relaxing. Just now, so. But anyway, I'm going to end this video now. This has been a hotel room tour. Mainly just a room. I've done some clips outside, which you've probably seen, and getting in and out of the lift and coming to the room, etc. There is very nice bar and grill, which is joined to the hotel. Um, make a reservation for that if you want to enjoy that. And there is also a nice reception area, so a nice quiet, chilled out reception area at the front. A nice fireplace uh, there as well. I couldn't really get close to it. I, again, I don't like interrupting or interfering or disturbing people while they're relaxing. So getting a camera out and going around the wall and stuff. Um, I just don't think that's uh, what I would like to do. So I prefer it when it's quiet. So if it's quiet, then I'll catch it. Um, I don't like uh, invading people's privacy, especially in hotels. People are here to relax. People want some privacy. Um, it's a bit different when maybe out about like a theme park etc but anyway hopefully I have captured and showed shown um, anything that's really helped in regards to uh, your planning your trip here or uh, coming to this hotel or just want to know what's in in this room like I mentioned I'll put all the information of the room details in the details below and if you want to follow me subscribe to me hit the subscribe button follow me on instagram all that stuff's below as well but yeah thank you for watching guys really appreciate it and until next time we'll see you all soon